written two essays for us, which is amazing, because I think one of the things that people love about Megan is that she has a voice. You know, this is an outspoken, bold woman who's proud to call herself a feminist. So it's great that we can hear what she has to say. And she's very much used to being in the public eye, isn't she? She is, which actress. hopefully will prepare her for what's to come and will mean that she'll take full advantage of it. One of the things that she said in the essay that she wrote for us was that with fame comes opportunity but also responsibility. She's acutely aware of, you know, how it is very important to use your position for the greater good. Indeed. I mean, I, I, I read that one of the articles, actually, and she just talks about this kind of uh, questions around her identity constantly mm -hmm. about being, you yeah. know, someone who was mixed race and, and how difficult that was for her growing yeah. up. Well, I think, firstly, we have to remember that Harry's proposed to the woman he loves and this is a love match and that's actually in and of itself is something important because maybe a hundred years ago that wouldn't have been the case and it's kind of great that her background her identity and the stuff that she's kind of done before is irrelevant because he just fell in, the, in love with someone and you know the royal family are celebratory of that and it's a testament to the royal institution that they've changed with the times and that nowadays you know, it's much more important to have a happy life with someone who's going to do great things than any other stipulation. I mean, is it really ir irrelevant? Because I imagine there's going to be so much discussion around the fact that she was previously married. Yes. And, and that puts a question around, yeah. you know, who will marry them then? I think it's... We have to call it irrelevant because it should be. Because it's 2017 and, you know, it's, it's just we have to be reflective of the fact that the world is a cultural melting pot and that women there's so much less pressure on us these days to be perfect and i think what the divorce is emblematic of for us certainly Elle magazine is that she's human she's lived a life she's done things that she's proud of she's done things she's less proud of she's made mistakes and you know what that's okay and she's a confident modern yeah. woman you know and they are a modern couple yeah and she's evolved and she's putting every energy into things for the greater good so what does it really matter that she got divorced in fact the royal family put out a statement very quickly after their relationship became public yeah telling people to back off yeah good you know, good, they're finally taking a stand and showing what Britain is very proud of, which is, you know, modernity and keeping up with the times. I, I mean, uh, she's also uh, done a lot of uh, advocacy for, for women's empowerment. Yes, yes, which is fantastic. To have a woman in such a high-profile position in an institution which has been, you know, patriarchal, hierarchical in that way, um, to have a woman who is proudly unafraid to call herself a feminist and who has worked with young um, disadvantaged women all over the world and to give her now a platform and more facilitate her more to do what she's already been doing is fantastic of course uh, indeed and and to be a role model to to younger women to a lot of your yeah. readers mm -hmm. of course well so you know for harry it's great he gets to marry the woman she loves and and almost all the other things are irrelevant but for the rest of us looking in she's just a fantastic reason to hero her you know there are so many things about her which are special her mixed race identity is important because it'll give our generation and a generation of girls to come someone who maybe looks like them who is celebrated and will show that women of color women of color can do whatever they want, they can have a voice, they can say what they like, they get an opinion, and that's fantastic. She's also done so much charity and outreach. That makes her great too. Um, so I think there are just so many reasons that she's a modern day hero. Uh, we're actually expecting uh, sort of within the next half hour or so for them to make a, a, their first public appearance and, and the speculation that, that wedding in the springtime. Yeah, so I think they're probably timing their women wedding cleverly around the birth of of Kate's third baby so it's gonna be a very special year 2018 and I think a great year to show how we are shifting and responding to the kind of situation in the world at the moment you know there's so much speculation about how we hero representation and how women are now being invited and really are taking a stand for themselves and having a voice so you know to have a woman next year be thrust into the British public eye who has a voice and who is a, you know, objectively speaking, quite a cool person is going to be great for us.